Oh, but here we go. Five, four, three, uh, two, uh, one. Let's go. 1.3. Hey, this special program is brought to you by Second Six. Hi there, proxies. Welcome Yo. to the Zenless Zone Zero special the heck? program. <laughs> we have a cat bot here. <laughs> Great to see you all again. Cat Bang Boo. I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest gossip on the scene, Mr. Z. And next to me is... Lynette. <laughs> Hello, Lady Meow. Lady We're Meow. Now. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. In today's live stream, I'll be teaming up with Lady Meow to bring you all the latest <laughs> updates. <laughs> I love that using the bang boo as like Why I guess that so Albert for these special Mr. programs. Z? You're not nervous because this story is about section six this time. Oh shit, we're getting you? their story now? Not at all. Section six is an elite team specifically trained to handle hollow disasters. To residents of New Eridu, they're like guardians watching over us. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but for the average person. Section 6 is definitely a group to look up to. I heard they've even got quite the fan base. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. As the best intel broker in the <laughs> Tell that to the Miyabi fans. The Section 6 fan club and got an inside scoop about the team. Next, I'll be introducing them to you all. But before we get to Section 6, yeah. we have to first introduce Hand, the Hollow Affairs and Neutralization Department. Oh, we already know about them, They're don't we? They're one of the top governing agencies in New Eridu. Oh, the bureaucracy. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Who the heck is that ginormous that man <laughs> in the statue? Although they're a high-level organization involved in city administration, Hand mainly handles matters related to hollow disasters. As yeah, these guys are mentioned like multiple agency, times in Hollow Zero, right? Yeah. Own armed forces, which is why they established hollow special Yo, Miyabi, right over there. <laughs> right on the left. Section 6 <laughs> is the sixth unit of HSO. <laughs> That's right. Section six has built quite the reputation since oh, it's so established my beloved, and before they changed your voice. Among the public. Adamasa. Well, under normal circumstances, he has that child look in his eyes. With them. He's like totally gonna be this game's child. In a hollow disaster or some hollow related crime, you might just meet this elite team. Yep. If you do run into them, consider it both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> and a curse. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a blessing in the sense that Section 6 is undeniably skilled and will definitely rescue you. Oh my god, the fan base. Curse, since the team members are all pretty eccentric. I love so you, Harabasa. <laughs> well, you aren't wrong about that, Lady Meow, but don't worry, everyone. There is one normal person among them that you can rely that on. That is us. <laughs> yeah, you that's a Harabasa really fan base, right? yeah. That's right. And the story we are about to witness also revolves around Miss Yanagi. Yep. Everyone knows now that HSO Section 6 is part of Hans Armed Forces. And that the team members are all highly capable fighters. The founder and team leader, Miss Hoshimi Miyabi. Miyabi, when, when she's gonna be released. Better be 1.4. Miss Yanagi's guidance <laughs> that transforms the raw power of Section 6's field agents into an effective asset in battle. Sounds like Miss Yanagi is the brains behind the team. And also the booba behind <laughs> the team. You could put it that way, but if you want to know more, nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh shit, here we go, trailer. What's wrong, Deputy Chief? Whoa, what the hell's it's going on? It's just my imagination, but I feel like something is about to happen. Hollow Special Operations Section 6, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. Oh shit. The logo, it's. Who the hell? Oh, these generic thugs it. again. Hurting people like this. The special monster we're looking for must be you. Yeah! Oh my god, the fucking bitrate drop. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, her place all looks fucking sick, honestly. Oh my god, she's Virgil! Oh wait, no, Miyabi's Virgil. Never mind. Dude, she's a novelty? How the hell did she thought attack? Oh, of course she got the freaking push up the glasses, that shit. Yo! Of the sons of my Calvary. boy! <laughs> I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
Yeah! He gets a guitar freaking intro. Oh! That's his burst! One punch! Fists are more than enough. You've got a plan to take them down, right? Oh, wait, are they? Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> kind of like they were fighting each other. The hell was that? Wait, was that like a doppelganger Miyabi? Wow, the heck? A lot of info. We're missing Yeah, that was a hell of a lot. Fighting? What? I wonder what happened. You can ask her yourself. Hey, Lady Mary. Dude, that's like yeah, that's a sick alt animation. Information ahead of me. Where did you even source that from? Come on, Mr. Z. I'm an Intel broker too, you know. Also, goddamn this angle though. What an angle. <laughs> what an angle. Holy okay, shit. What? Hello. I'm Sukashiro Yanagi. Deputy Chief and Intelligence Officer of Section Oh, Yanagi. I thought it was Yanagi. Like, you pronounce it that part. Calling? Hello, Chief Tsukishiro Yanagi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the Deputy Chief. The Chief of Section 6 is Hoshimi Miyabi. Please right. be careful it's not to the one actually in charge. <laughs> How are you having a conversation with the recording? <laughs> mm, thank you for the clarification, Miss Yanagi. I heard Section 6 was single-handedly established by Yeah, it's hard just Yanagi, English up pronunciations. An elite team that holds a I'm sick of our friends in Yanagi. Within hand. Is there some deeper story behind it? Hmm? Chief Miyabi played a key role in establishing Section 6, but it was also a decision carefully made by hand and the city administration in consideration of the state of the city and the hollows. We share the same mission as our other colleagues at hand, to deal with hollow disasters. Residents of New Eridu can also log into the city's official website for public information on all divisions of hand. <laughs> oh my, quite the official Yes, log into answer. our public you website. Sure but look at all the comments saying, <laughs> I want well, to be Yanagi's dog or something like that. I, I shit you not. If you, if you look on the internet thing and look up the one with Miyabi and Yanagi on it, there's like one comment that just says, <laughs> Miss Yanagi just, and there's a bunch of simp words that follows. Our team is equipped to deal with any major related incidents and my teammates yeah, Lyra's an S rank character so yes no for too much supervision of course if anyone's skipping shifts or slacking off then it's my duty to discipline them is it just it my like have it. <laughs> I think just Seth has just been like the only <laughs> a rank character <laughs> that's been released in the, like the past few updates but I can tell this family <laughs> would fall apart without you all right uh, let's talk about section six's latest operation now all right, main story. Tell us about what you encountered during this incident. We were invited by the HIA to test some new technology, which included trying out new equipment and recording raw data. The specifics are confidential. Ooh, I can sense something big must have happened here. Could it be related to the new equipment? <clears throat> oh, the curiosity is killing me. Looks also, then this like artwork was pretty sick, actually. Ourselves. Whoa! Oh, it's a special episode. Special okay, episode. not like chapter four. Anyway, you for sharing, Miss Yanagi. All right. I can't believe I didn't so, know. So, special episode Intel. like Jane's. Failed this in I'm guessing that means maybe the sad, proxies aren't involved in the story then. More to the story in the outer ring, right? We're counting. Because that usually how it goes with the special episodes. That. Really? Am I still qualified to do this? What the heck is that noise in the background? Then let's shift our focus back to the outer ring for now. Although the Torridi Inferno has concluded. The story of a certain champion remains on yeah, huh? After the Torti Inferno, I'm sure all you proxies are more familiar Oh yeah, with we're very, him. very familiar. And as the champion of the Sons of Caladon, he doesn't concern himself with the names of those he's defeated. Sporting his leather jacket, accented with a bright red scarf, I'd say he's the coolest guy in my book. <laughs> At least that's what he thinks. <laughs> Why would someone so independent like him join a biker gang? Well, although Lighter might seem like quite the lone wolf, he actually cherishes every member of the Sons of Caledon. But there must be some hidden reason behind his decision to join them. A hidden reason? In that case, should we ask Lighter? <laughs> Lighter just comes up because Don't there are like four pretty women <laughs> on the team. Hello, Mr. Lighter. <laughs> Why did you join Yo, the Sons our boy. of Caledon? Wait, are you really just gonna ask like that? Tell us. If there's a hidden reason he wouldn't just tell us. I owed Big Daddy a favor. Oh. Huh? That's that it? it? <laughs> I see. As expected of Mr. Lighter, straightforward and honest. Thanks. <laughs> Speaking of which, the Tour Inferno is over and a new overlord has been crowned. But I heard there's something called Settlement Days in the Outer Ring. Ah, uh, I've heard of it too. 
By tradition, within three days of a new overlord taking charge, anyone with past grievances can challenge the new leader to settle scores. This is also a chance for the gangs to resolve personal grudges. In the past, these challenges were certainly far more brutal. But in recent times, settlement days is more like a festival, and it's become rare to see anyone actually trying to make trouble for the overlord. Do you think hmm. anyone would challenge you, Mr. Lighter? What? The hell was that? Certainly <laughs> seems so. See you around. <laughs> ah, and there he goes. That didn't take The hell was just thrown over his and head? He doesn't seem nervous. Ah, shit. People are here right. to kill me. It doesn't seem Damn like it. the sons of Caledon are taking settlement days very seriously. But like Lighter just said, things have calmed down a bit in the past few years. In Lighter's agency, <laughs> yo, you'll whoa, an whoa, from the whoa, hey, whoa, to whoa, what the whoa, in this outer ring celebration. Man's As fucking jacked. Holy began, shit, skin wet, hoy. Is goofing around. <laughs> oh, yeah. Meanwhile, Lighter readily accepts challenges and steps into the arena. However, the fuck? <laughs> I never to battle took hoy for the time battle, to show nipples before. The Holy shit, take an unexpected turn. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, if we get Yeah, of course he's going to have his own story quest, right? Suspense. Speaking of the outer ring, isn't Pearl I, I was too distracted by the pecs. There? I didn't even see. <laughs> he still has crucial intel. Not to worry. It won't take long before you proxies can get that crucial intel from Pearlman. And section yeah, wait, did, 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 did they announce uh, that Lighter was going to have a story quest? I legit was distracted there by the his fucking games. apps. <laughs> this is just the start of Bell and Wise's story. Oh, right, story okay, with yeah, Lighter agent story is confirmed. I'm sorry, I got so distracted there. The main story. There'll still be some time before the continuation of that story. Yes. So, let's return so to let's cater to all sorts of fetishes. Introducing our agent. <laughs> even for huh? even for even male already. fan service. All right, let's dive into the intel on Miss Sukishiro Yanaka. All right, here we go, gameplay. As you can see, I'm the one giving the info this time. Sukishiro Yanagi, a member of Section 6 and an S rank anomaly agent with electrified. Sorry, I had to drink some water there. What the? Seriously, doesn't anyone care that I'm the one who got this info? Yeah, okay. Sorry, freaking Lighter got me thirsty. She wields a Naginata that matches her slender frame. In combat, she uses a combination of styles to take down enemies. Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing her stance. Oh, she has stances? Yeah, available moves will change depending okay. on her stance. And she'll also get different buffs. These buffs remain in effect for some time after Yanagi switches stances. Simply okay. Put, as long as you keep a good rhythm of switching her stances, Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs from both stances. Also, so you just gotta Yanagi keep switching occasion. Stance, okay. Every time she deals damage with a basic attack, her anomaly buildup increases. When she unleashes her EX special attack, Yanagi enters Shinra Banshu state and switches her stance. Okay. She charges up and rushes in with a forward step. Oh, so she's like two different moves sets essentially. Electric damage. If the target is under oh, that's anomaly, that's kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. But I just pulled Burnus, so removing the target's uh, anomaly while giving herself a buff. Mm. Now let's see this in action. Her gameplay looks fun, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, is she just in like. Combat, you can switch Yanagi in to unleash her Are we literally just fighting attack in the middle of freaking Luminous Square? An anomaly, dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. Oh, shoot. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage while switching from stance to stance to maintain. I thought we'd never like do battle in these places because they were like the up worlds. That Yanagi seems to never mind. Activating her ultimate. Only intense focus as she lets me Oh, that, that, that ultimate looks kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. Trust really me, does look sick. Be on her bad side when she gets serious. Ah, are you a three anomaly characters though? I, ca life, I can't. Is still a gentle person. <laughs> she only becomes that serious when things get fucked up. I might be tempted. Oh, got more details to share? Mm -mm. I can't give away everything just yet. Now let's shift our focus. Oh, yeah, to our lighter. boy. Here comes Lighter, an S rank fire and stun agent. Stun, if yeah. Our last special program, I only have like one properly raised in this Lycon. Indeed, he's a proud member of the Sons of Caledon, no doubt. With those 
golden gauntlets and oh, that also look like she sold this orders also yeah right i saw this order pop up there told, even though there was like no other elements huh. and of course he uses of course he he's fan of bernie's whoa look at that combo Lighter faces his enemies head on in close range combat dude he's and like risley but like way higher, fucking more aggressive hit of his basic attack sends him into an oh yeah look at that shit <laughs> In this state, he consumes morale and increases his impact to quickly stun his foes. Oh, no, 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 no. That's like fucking 100% a JoJo fucking longer. move right there. Yeah, look at what I was saying. Or his sons of Caledon friends. He allows his teammates. Oh, the JoJo fans are gonna go insane over this guy. <laughs> They did this. They said the thing. <laughs> During combat, Lighter recovers morale as his teammates okay. face off against the opponents. Really? Lycon Once and Lighter in the same roll, team. Okay. He a quick assist to switch him in. He can hammer enemies with a continuous flurry of punches while nimbly dodging attacks. This helps him stun enemies quicker, setting up his team for some serious DPS. All right. Not sure how I feel about them running two stunners in the same team, but I guess we'll see. Powerful punch, dealing massive damage and days oh, yeah. by enemies. With his fiery fist One and punch. powerful fighting style, Lighter sure is a hot one. Oh yeah, he sure is, alright. Uh right. Got it. <laughs> yeah, even the bang boo's epic for him. That's all for our <laughs> new agents, but let's not forget our new bang boo, baddy boo, and night boo. Oh shoot! And he was actually playable now. Help get our mahjong game going. We're still short two players. What? The, why the subtitle so mm, so long? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's stay on track. After the oh, lighter bus fire and ice damage. Okay. Signal search in the bang Yo, Batty Boo. Get the A rank Bang Boo, Batty Boo. And I like that one design. Get Night Boo as a reward from the event. The mystery I really, really do love these like new bag boo designs. I, I, I'm glad they keep making those. The only way to obtain night boo as of now will be from that event. Is he just like shooting? Are they freaking enemies? Oh my god, he's like shooting rockets at them or something. When teaming up with them, holy shit! Oh my god, that's his chain attack. That is sick. That's such as like a large AOE too. What the fuck? Very nice. Now our other what the heck is Night Boo doing? Night Boo can summon stars onto the battlefield. <laughs> Collecting those stars restores he fucking energy summons for agents. Horse floaties. When activating a chain attack, Night Boo summons three rainbow ponies. Rainbow ponies. ponies. Rainbow enemies ahead, dealing ether damage. With these new agents and Bang Boo raring to go, that's actually let's fucking hilarious. Signal searching. Meow. In the first half of version 1.3. Proxies will have access to the exclusive oh, yeah, channel w engine. Serenity and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata, where you can obtain the exclusive S rank agent Sukishiro Yanagi. And yep, okay, so yeah, w Yanagi first, Tommy. lighter second. In the latter half, uh -huh. the exclusive channel Champion of Embers and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata. I'm definitely Sonata saving up for lighter. Will be offering exclusive S rank agent lighter I, I need and the S rank W Engine Blazing Laurel. I'm not funny like. 1. 3, oh, hey, events. free tenfold, yo! Each proxy can get ten encrypted master tapes and ten. Yes, good. I need that <laughs> definitely. To log in. Also, many of you probably uh. know that you can obtain a dynamic background when reaching trust rank four with characters. Yeah. Here Wait. are Yanagi and Letters' dynamic backgrounds. Oh, they actually show it to us. Okay. Oh, that one's kind of nice. Oh, oh my goodness. Ooh, those are nice. Better get those trust ranks up. Okay. And don't forget the new I'm up for Yanagi now. Like, no, These I can't. Friends are itching to okay. Team no, I'm safe for lighter. No. Maybe we can squeeze in a couple. He has his like glasses off and everything. That's fucking sick. Feet? And I burned his Perhaps bar as well. We should drop that topic for now. Hmm. Then what topic should we talk about instead? Yep, doing a hundred percent. Maybe something that proxies. Game that one immediately. Like. Redemption code go. Oh yeah, read every codes. Uh, yeah, for 300 polycones, virtual revenge. Claim that before it expires in like 12 hours. You're gonna need it. Uh, I'll claim it at like after the live stream's over. Holy shit, what a what a great fucking live stream so far. Yeah, unfortunately, no new A ranks. I, I'm not sure if they're ever gonna do A ranks. Like uh, like, because honestly, it seems like uh, Haramasa and Miyabi might be S ranks. So 
<laughs> Who the fuck knows when I'm going to get new A ranks? But yeah, I'm definitely excited. I'm excited to like, see Yanagi's story and also pull for lighter and whatnot. Yeah, this, this something seems to kind of suck so far. And <laughs> we haven't even got gone to the events yet. What's those thighs of lighter? Hard Master gives me A rank vibes? No, I feel like he might be an S rank. I'm not sure, actually. I guess we'll have to wait till like 1.4 to see. With the version 1.3 update, we'll be introducing some new events and game modes too. All right, hit us. Let's take a look. First of all, Miss Yanagi and Mr. Lighter stories are coming. Uh huh. Right. In version 1.3, no? new stories will be available through the theme to Oh, yeah, that's a sick looking TV wallpaper. Schedule. TV this schedule. Event has unique tokens. Which proxies can earn from story broadcast and warm up exercises. Wait. And then exchange them for rewards. In Sugishiro oh, okay. It's like one of these shop the events. Schedule, Moonlight Traces, proxies can check out Sugishiro Yanagi's story and themed stages. Meanwhile, in Lighter's TV schedule program, Yo, look at that. Look at the maps. Not only can you find Lighter's story and stages, you can also check out the special play in which players can use Lighter across a series oh, of cool. horizontal so battle if you, stages. Is that a 2D side-scroller section? A different buff. Of course. Oh, that's kind of sick, actually. At the start of each stage, proxies can I always love those in games. as a supporting character. <laughs> Call them in at the right times to summon them and have them unleash their skills. Timing All right. your support character right can lead to additional buffs. That's cool. As for our combat lovers, and basically, yeah, you just trial out Yanagi and Lighter and then get rewards. That seems kind of sick. By fighting battle after exhilarating battle, proxies can steadily climb higher on the tower. Oh my god, it's Tartarus. Apart from <laughs> rewards, players will obtain a badge upon reaching a certain floor. The Is this like an, an climb, endless kind of mode? The shinier your metal gets. But please keep this in mind. The higher you climb, the tougher your opponents. Oh, and shoot. Your agents won't recover. That's like Spiral Bits, but upwards. The entire phase. Like your HP, for example. Oh, shit. Agents they didn't. Okay, I guess weak boss can show up here, too. From the previous battle. When an agent falls in battle, <laughs> Did I just saw Sokaku die? Can select a replacement from oh, my goodness. Reserves. Why would you do that? As you keep going through the challenge, you'll unlock more agents to choose from. Okay. Yep. And enemy oh god, the ballerinas are here too. In simulated battle trials too. For example, when you beat one of the twin bosses, they resurrect faster than in regular. Ah no. That's gonna be tough. Teams to conquer that tower. Go for it, proxies. Well, in I like addition, a challenge. We're adding a I'll new do it for sure. Gameplay mode in Hollow Zero. Wait, called the another mystery one? of Arpeggio Fault. More Hollow Zero content, yo. Five chapters. Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas. And they also said some roguelike to too. Wait. As you can see, in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight okay. enemies by ramming their tiles and defeat them by literally bumping into them with sufficient combat oh, power. Okay, so in addition, you can even loot some NPCs via board combat. Huh. This innocent shopkeeper here. Okay, so there's someone bringing back the TV <laughs> events. Yeah, they Looks haven't like did the TV entirely, guys. Don't worry. This the proxy's sheer power, I mean, their sharp wit. <laughs> also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. Okay. The Bang Boo you get in game will show up as special Bang Boo Rizonia. Following proxies and providing bonus effects. This is kind of sick, honestly. Also, why is Yanaki chasing XP, us? <laughs> which can be used to activate the blessing group chosen at the start to boost your exploration abilities. Once you've finished hmm. exploring a floor, you can move on to the next one for more resources. The resources okay. you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs for your next adventure. And the neat hey, you already is, sold me on roguelike. I'll play this 100%. Completely up to you. So, proxies can customize their skills to suit their style. Now that we've talked about the gameplay, let's discuss rewards. There are both permanent and limited Wait, you get Night Boo for free? Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new oh, Night Boo. I won't delve into the details here. All right. Just leave it to our proxies to explore for themselves. Oh, and I heard that okay, these events seem pretty, pretty event correct too. so far. There, proxies can engage in test battles with different buffs for each stage. 
Notably, Metal Combat there event? Alright. stages where you can test out the new agent, Tsukishiro Yanagi. Utilizing specific buffs, proxies can try soloing the stages Holy, with is a that new enemy? Agent. That Here looks like a new ethereal. That sounds like something you're into. By the way, I've never seen a theory of that tall. About bread at belief in new oh, <laughs> they're gearing up cooking up to a pop-up store at Lumina Square soon. Wow, perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. Not only that, word has it that the ah, slice of life event. Okay. Host a special group of lucky customers. Lend a hand, and you might score a spot as a VVVIP customer. I can't enjoy the cheese Sophia store. event, so and who knows, there might this one be more should be fun too. Waiting too. Little Bang Boo dreaming big dreams. Apart from this recruitment for catering services, a Bang Boo coach has thrown out an invite too. The Enna Assistant Program event is coming your way in version 1.3. During this event, proxies can visit different Bang Boo each day to accept tests. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tests. Take photos for the Bang Boo and assist the coach. Hey, in slice of life events. All right. Their training. Those Bang Boo. Oh wait, is it this <laughs> this Bang Boo thing again? If you want to check the results of their training. You gotta start by counting them. Oh yeah, okay. It's, it's this one again. I think did they do this one for like 1.2? No, it's a 1. So besides the event rewards, you can also get some photo wall decorations in return. There's also a bang boo with a little cart handing out tasks. Help Kai. <laughs> Head over to the Help Kai event, complete tasks, and get some sweet rewards as thanks. Oh. By the okay, way, so have you heard? Just do daily things are free rewards. What the heck? Square. Oh, yo! They're stocking up on all the latest. They're finally making this guy Stand like actually a part of the game. Don't just window shop. If you see something you <gasps> we can decorate our room. Grab it and show off your latest finds on your display stand on the second floor of the video. That's kind of cool. That is really cool. <laughs> something nice. In addition, we will be Oh my god, so much Oh yeah, events. double drops. Okay. For good. Simulation and I need cleanup. I need so both of them. Foxies, get your farming hats good stuff. On. In version 1.3, we optimize the layout of the friends system. Oh, Expanding you get titles. The size okay. Of the card and adding a section to display titles and badges. Proxies will be Oh, can you adjust the size of your name card too? Okay. And from Agent Trust. You can only equip That's actually kind of, kind of a nice QL. And as for these badges, you can earn them from various game modes and have multiple on display at once. God, there's like so much going course, on right now. Holy shit. Sucked up, dude. Any titles or badges, that's totally fine too. Just change your title or toggle both off through your social settings. With all those events, proxies will have their hands full. Yeah, for honestly, a while. this event, this this update looks really, really more. stacked. I know you've got a whole list of optimizations too. Come on, spill. Oh, QL. Of course, of course. In version 1.3, we've tweaked the functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. Okay. For example, we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, even if your engagement is maxed out. You'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with the go to button for easy access. We've also revamped the weekly tasks at the very left under the errands tab. All right. This update introduces a new oh, oh, the chain of the weekly tasks, stuff. Which All right. Fresh weekly. Wait, you can, get, you can I get polygraphs of the weekly 11, stuff? A week after the new version is released. Moreover, the challenge tab has been renamed to combat for better clarity. Oh shoot, okay, go to QL you'll change. Find new ways to access standard game modes, like the investigator training course in version 1.2 and the new game That's pretty good actually. In version 1.3. We've added a new tactics tab on the far right side of the compendium. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorial stages. Getting more familiar with the mechanics, meeting learning targets, and obtaining first clear rewards. All right, that seems kind of nice. Plus, you can access free training and your cooperation. Hey, no need to teleport to your team. home anymore. <laughs> All these training exercises are now conveniently grouped together. Yeah, and also we've optimized the interfaces, layouts, stores, and the claiming of rewards for Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. All right, nice. Added a new related Simple changes, but they're so, they're so nice. Oh, cleanup, that's kind of useful. Can now check agents who need the materials and disk drives from hey, thanks how about newbies. That's, when that's it comes nice. To building your agents, we've made a number of changes regarding materials, drive disks, W engines, and more. 
For example, we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in oh, thank you. 1.3. In the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, or use comprehensive ones to fill in the gaps. However, only materials one level lower were considered before. With this update, the oh, system thank now checks you. for materials Jeez. across <laughs> levels. You can skip I, I always uh, was annoyed whenever they like over like level by level. stacked on the the lower mats. You need on a single pop -up oh, this auto crafting too. That is so so good. Of that is yep. W update. So if you're <laughs> w update for sure now. Down, but have plenty of even lower level materials. I mean, it's already W update beforehand. <laughs> but yeah, this is this update just keeps getting like better. It. But while we've always been able to craft low-level materials into more advanced ones, Wait. then maybe we should oh, let shit. other items have a go, too. I was literally saying, you like, bet. with this, like, yeah, why can't we craft the uh, the gold ones? Feature to drive and for the blue ones to the purple ones, that well. is so good. So, proxies will be able to craft nice. more advanced tuning No more gambling on the four star relics now. Drive discs. <laughs> that really is handy. Oh, yeah. And that's not the end of it. We've added a new sort by time to the drive disc menu. Then sort by I time. Can also oh. Sort my drive discs by when I got them and dismantle them in batches now. Oh, too? that's like actually really exactly. useful. We've optimized the whole drive disc dismantling experience. That is we pretty darn useful, so actually. Sort your drive discs when dismantling. Making Every time I just scroll through my disc drives, just like, which is the one I just got? Plus, the old select all has been replaced by quick select. Just a tap. And you can select all drive discs of a specific grade, or all those marked as discarded. Oh, you can just do it in We've the a new in your inventory now. You don't need to go to the shop anymore. That's that's really good. And the original filter button is now an icon with text for better clarity. These minor UI changes can really amp up the whole experience. Wow, massive QL all changes. Also, in version 1. There's more? <laughs> you can pin your favorite agents and Oh, bang hey, useful. You can hey. your agents and the same thing as they did with uh, Gadget Star Rail. Shop, nice. deployment interface and more. Now you can find your faves. I can pin lighter on the top of my thing and forever let's now. Let's not forget about the tweaks in the drive disk selection screen over at the music store. Now you can view more sets at once. Moreover, we've added quick access from the drive disk recommendations interface. Hey. Overall, more DB helping like stuff. All about smoothing out the bumps in nice, your very, very nice. <laughs> oh no, all that excitement drained my energy. Yeah, it just seems like a really, really stacked Time update. For a cat nap. Huh? Wait. Hey. Oh, you can dismount from inventory longer. right now. You don't have to go to the shop. Oh, I didn't know that. Lady meow. Don't worry, proxies. We're professional. <laughs> I always thought you had to go to the shop for some Even reason to dismantle your off, uh, W we'll uh, drives. Off. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. Bye. All right. This was a bad update, actually. What is going on? Oh, my bit rate. The fuck? Wait, what's happening? Um? V for Vendetta? Is that you? Oh, shit. Yeah, that was a bit of a dark ending. Yeah, they said that like that f guy, or whatever, is like the villain of a uh, Yanagi story. Oh, I thought we were got about to get like a character reveal at the end there or something. Hmm. Yeah, it's 100 like a story teaser. Oh, see, what the heck is this Bangboo? <laughs> I don't think we ever seen this Bangboo game before. I wanted to ask that earlier, but overall, this seems like a really, really stacked update. Two story quests, a lot of events, a lot of QL changes, and just, yeah, so many good things just happening our way. God, our ZZ fans are eating good, are eating very, very good. Uh, I still can't get Lighter's fucking shirtless pecs out of my brain. <laughs> but yes, I'm 100% pulling for him. Uh, I'll be skipping Yanagi, unfortunately. I, I, as much as I do want her, I... I need her. I need lighter. <laughs> and I have enough Anami DPS story. But I, I wish you guys the best of luck if you are going to be playing for Yanagi uh, yourselves. Man, yeah, this, this update seems really, really stacked. I, I cannot wait for it. It's going to be it's going to be great. Uh, when is it going to come out, actually? Um, OK, November 6th. OK, so just like uh, no, basically like two weeks from now. All right. I should be done with all the Genshin and Star Rail stuff by then. So I, I think I should uh, be able to make time for that. All right. Not bad. Not bad. That was a really, really good live stream, actually.
<laughs> yeah, I like these uh, ZZ live streams that are like relatively short. Like, yeah, they're not as long as the uh, Star Rail and Genshin ones, but it doesn't have to be that long. I kind of like the short and simple ones here. They're like not overly bloated. I kind of appreciate that for that. But yeah, absolutely cannot wait for this update to go live and uh, yeah, see everything, honestly. I, I'm really, really excited for like all the stories and all the characters. And yeah, here's hoping we all get a winner 50 50s in the update and everything. I'm especially excited for that roguelike mode they were talking about. It seemed pretty sick with the TVs and everything. And also, you know, the tower mode. That tower mode, like, looks kind of sick. And I hope it's like, um, like an endless kind of mode. But, but it seems like it has like a limit. But <laughs> here's hoping there's like a prototype for like a mode in the future where it's like, it is going to be like truly endless. Man, yeah, the, 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 all the events look also really good too. But yeah, cannot wait. Cannot wait for this update as a whole. Everything looks like super, super exciting. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys coming out here to watch the live stream alongside with me. It really means a lot to me that you all come out here. And uh, yeah, hope you sub as well to help us reach 5k subscribers before the end of the year. Take care of yourselves and uh, see you all again next time. Bye bye.